to my channel. So uh, this video, we're going to be doing another macrame piece. I think I said that in pretty much every single one of my macrame videos. Um, but this one, uh, my initial like want for this piece was it for it to be a tree skirt. And so that's what I'm going to go for for right now. I'm halfway through it right now. And I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Um, but I think it can also be doubled as either a rug or a piece to hang on the wall after Christmas. Or if it doesn't turn out like a tree skirt. Um, anyways, I think it took me about an hour and a half just to cut the ropes and attach them to the first ring. So um, just have a lot of patience. I'm trying to get this up before December. Um, so just have a lot of patience with it. It can be really, really fun. You can do it all together if you want to, like, you know, as like a little party event or something, or you can make something smaller, just kind of use the same pattern. But yeah, I think it's going to turn out really, really good. It just, it's just going to take a lot of patience. The knots are pretty simple so far. I've only used three different knots and that being the lark's head knot, the square knot, and the double half hitch. So it's going to be a pretty simple, basic piece. Pretty much all of my pieces only use about those three knots and I just use, you know, different techniques for different for all of them. A beginner can do this. It's just going to take you a very long time. Just have a lot of patience and we can go ahead and get started. So obviously you're going to need some scissors to cut your rope and the rope that I have chosen today I got at Dollar General and this is the True Living Essentials rope and this one's still in the package. Um, I ended up using nine of them for now, for right now. So that's 900 feet and they, I think they're about 350 at Dollar General. Um, so this one is a lot different than the one at Walmart. This one can be manipulated a lot easier. Um, it's a lot softer of a cotton um, compared to the clothesline at Walmart. And next you're gonna need some kind of hoops. Now for the first two hoops, I have a five inch little um, ring that I got at Michael's, I believe you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Walmart might even have the small five inch hoop ones. And then I have, I think it's a 12 inch. I will measure and let you know right here. But it's another metal hoop. Um, you can use really anything that you can find. I've used a lampshade before, um, like the rim of it, anything round that you can attach. Now, if, you, if you're wanting to make yours exactly the same size as mine, you're definitely going to need these exact measurements for the hoops. I believe this rope is 732s. I don't know how to say that properly. I'll just, I'll just stick it right here. That is um, the thickness of this rope. And then for the last two hoops, I actually used hula hoops. So Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure if you go right now, you can still find um, the hula hoops from summer and it's the smaller hoop, not the bigger hoop. I'm pretty sure they might have them on sale for a dollar. And then the last hoop I got was the one at Walmart. It's the big one. It's $8. It's the most expensive hoop there was. The rest of them were like literally a dollar. Um, but this hoop, I had to have it. It's the biggest one that I can find. Any kind of that you can find, like, uh, you know, get you. Once you got all them, it's pretty much go time. We are ready to make the piece. It's really late at night and I'm really wanting to work on this. So I just got the shower. Once you get all of your ropes cut and folded into a lark's head knot, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and attach it onto this little hoop right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. This one was like an old dream catcher, so it was like already wrapped and everything, but you definitely, um, it can just be a plain old hoop, don't really matter. So we're gonna begin the lark's head knot, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold over the hoop and just pull it, pull the two ends through, just like that, and pull it tight. And we're gonna essentially just kind of go around the entire thing, just like this right here. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, but I know that I'm gonna make it pretty, pretty thick. And you can see how they're starting to look. Now just go around the entire hoop, just like that. Okay, you guys, this literally took me a whole hour, even over that, to cut all these and attach them. So it's gonna take a while, just be patient and um, it'll be all worth it in the end, I promise. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start doing a whole bunch of square knots, and that is gonna make like the first row of this macrame piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Since it is gonna be a circle, you can kinda see which way, you know, it's gonna be, you wanna spread them all out evenly. Right now, I've just got like a ball of, <laughs> ball of that other side over here. I'm just gonna be working like, probably on this side first because it's gonna take forever. I should have thought this through. What I'm gonna show you to do is we're gonna start doing a whole bunch of square knots on this very first row. And to do that, we had to have an even number um, amount up top and we have 48 um, 
ropes attached to this. So to do this square knot, I'm just gonna start right here, I guess. I'm just gonna do it. There's no use in trying to get all these straightened out. Ignore my fingers, I bought them. Sorry, Mom. Okay, so you can see right here we've got two ropes that were attached and it equals to be about four. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the one on the right side or the left side, depending if you're right or left-handed. This is the way I'm gonna teach it because that's the way I'm comfortable with. Let me, let me face it this way so you can see better. And you're gonna pull this right one up and fold it up just like that over those ropes. And I like to hold it with my thumb. Take the one on the left, go over this rope, and push it underneath all those and through this area right here. And you pull that through. I'm out of breath, foot. Whew. Okay, and that's the first half of it done. And then you take this, now you take the one on the left, and do the same thing, cross it over, hold it, take the one on the right, cross it over this rope, go underneath and through that loop, pull through, and then pull tight, and that is your first square knot. And you're literally going to do this for every single one of them on here, and it's going to take forever. It's going to take forever, but you've got this. It's gonna start looking just like that and just go around the whole thing. Okay, and if you've made it this far, pretty sure you're gonna be able to do the whole thing because this is stressful with all this stuff. Okay, so as you can see now, what it looks like, we've got an entire ring going of these square knots around the outer um, or the perimeter of the circle. And so now what we're gonna do, since we've already learned how to do a square knot, we're gonna do an alternating square knot. And literally it's the same knot, except for you don't use the same ropes. For instance, we got right here, let's see, a whole bunch of overlap in business. What we got, what we got to look at. Okay, so here are two square knots. As, wait, here are two square knots, as you can see if it'll focus. You can see there's these two end strings right here, and then there's this middle. So this middle, if it'll focus, if it'll focus, there we go, you can see it there, good. So we're gonna take the two in the middle here, and this is gonna be with every knot. So you take each knot and split it in half, and take the two knots um, on either side of it, and we're gonna do another square knot right there in the center. So we're gonna go, like we usually do with a square knot. For some reason, it's wanting to focus up here, so we're gonna sit it right there. So once, um, you're gonna start doing this throughout the entire piece, um, just doing that alternating square knots, and then the next row, you're literally gonna do the same exact thing. Let me zoom out a little, maybe that'll help. Okay, so yeah, there you go. So if you can see that at all, it's gonna start looking something like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it up a little bit and we are gonna make it to where it spins. And to do this is like I said earlier, how instead of alternating, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you just like an example, how we've got the knot and the knot. What we've been doing is we've been taking um, the four right here in the center to create another knot in between right here to make it alternating. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take just the knot itself. And we're just going to keep doing a right-handed um, square knot over and over again. We're going to do a half knot is what it's called. So you're going to take it up just like you would do a square knot. Do the first half of it. Just like that. And that's literally all you do. Just like that. And instead of going with the left side now to do it, the finishing off that side of the knot, we are just going to continue with that right side over and over and over again. And that will eventually create a spiral pattern. Just like that. And you just gonna, you're going to keep repeating. I've got this one centered inside this middle hoop here. And you're going to continue with this until you reach the outer portion of this and you know you can give or take a little bit just try to do it evenly on all sides okay y'all this is freaking insane there is rope literally everywhere um but as you can see uh this is where i've been hanging it up from the wall i'll show you how to do that in a second but um i've gone ahead and this is where we did the four rows of the square knots and right here on all these little twisties i did um six half knots and that's what created the twist and i think now i'm gonna go back 
to doing square knots until I reach here. Um, alternating square knots because I like, I think I would like the way it looks. So we're gonna try it. <laughs> All right, so I currently have it hanging like just in um, on a hook in the corner of my house and I'm gonna be working on it this way and I think it's gonna be a lot easier on me rather than doing it on the floor. If you can't do that, you can most definitely do it on the floor, but um, I just think for me, it's gonna be a lot easier doing it this way. And we're gonna start doing it how we were doing it. So you're gonna take both of these sections here and you can see the two on this side of this knot and the two on this side of this knot and we're just gonna tie a square knot and we literally just do that the entire way around and I think we're gonna do it a good couple of times. I'm not really sure. Maybe about three rounds. I don't know, I'm so out of breath. I literally, oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath, y'all. You can see it's starting to develop underneath there just like that and you're just gonna go around the entire thing. All right, so now it should start looking something like this. It's like a little whirl, not a whirlpool, like a whirlwind kind of, I don't know, pinwheel. That's all I'm thinking of, not a whirlwind, whatever. I don't even know, I don't even know. Okay, so I don't think it's quite gonna go to the edge of this hoop, um, but we're just gonna go ahead and attach it anyways because I'm ready to. So um, to do this, we're gonna do a series of double half hitches um, over and over again. And so this, this hoop right here is gonna get pretty full of rope. It's gonna be pretty, pretty thick and we're just gonna have to work with it. Um, I might, if it gets too thick, I might like pull some in between, I don't really know, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to do this knot. This knot is pretty advanced, but I use it in every single one of my videos. Um, so if you are a long time watcher, you would know what I'm talking about. Um, but if you're not, it's it's simple, but it's just hard and it takes a little bit to learn. But doing it on something like this is a little bit easier than following it in a pattern. So what I'm going to do is you're going to do this with every single rope, remember. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to start with this one because it's kind of in the middle. I've laid the hoop on top of all the ropes and I'm going to take this one strand right here. I'm going to fold it up kind of just like so and it's kind of stringing across the whole thing. Um, and we're going to fold it. You can see fold it under here but we're gonna fold it in between itself so let me explain all right when you come up to the top like this you can see that there's a little loop that you've created and you're gonna take this and push it underneath and through this loop and then you're gonna pull that really really tight just like so and you're gonna do it once more so go up over just like that and go underneath and through that little loop that we made and that is going to create a little double half hitch and it's going to attach um, just like so and so we're going to do this around the entire thing but as we go we're going to kind of keep adjusting it we might have to adjust it all over just to be sure that it's completely centered okay so once you get to this point after you have attached all of them, it takes a while. You should be able to hold it, and this middle portion should be stabilized on its own. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. It kind of looks like a sun, and it looks so freaking cool. Okay, but you can see the outer edge. There's some areas that the silver is protruding. That wasn't the right word. <clears throat> um, showing through, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the ones on the end here, and I'm just going to wrap them again. Um, do another double half hitch onto the thing on the ones that are visible just to cover it up Not gonna really worry about it too much. This one right here is showing right here pretty bad So I'm just gonna take the one beside it right here and I'm just gonna Do another um, Loop onto it. No big deal that rope might end up being just a little bit shorter than the rest of them But um, it is what it is So yeah I'm just gonna pull that sucker through. So now you can see the ring. It should look um, something like that once you have finished it just on the edges here. Um, all the way around, I'll zoom you out real quick. Ignore my thunks. So that is what it is currently looking like and now we're gonna get ready to um, start coming out with it. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do some more alternating square knots and you see how these are a little bit pulled apart. We're gonna start using Something like that, I do believe, um, for this next little portion in between here and the next hoop. 
and you know just a variation of something like this right here it's gonna be really pretty it's gonna be really pretty okay so as we start this next portion of the piece uh where we're going to continue on into the next hoop i'm going to start um you can see right here up at the top where here's a knot and down here there's four knots um there's a little bit it's a little bit of a gap right here because i use this one to um fill in that area right there no big deal no big deal um what we're gonna do i'm gonna just tie another square knot so i'm just gonna go ahead and tie a square knot directly directly underneath directly underneath um, this square knot here and we're gonna do that all the way around so find every single knot and tie another knot directly underneath it Okay, so once we make our first row of square knots, you can see I've came down and started, I have started alternating um, some square knots and they're a little bit off. So I am going to make sure that I get them all even. Um, so essentially, what we're gonna do, I'll show you over here real quick. We're gonna grab these two right here, saying you're just splitting each knot in half. And you're just gonna kinda come down a couple of inches rather than directly underneath right here and kind of even with this one here and just tying a knot a square knot and literally again just repeat around the entire piece okay so i don't know if you can see or not but i went ahead and did another row um but i only did every other one so you can see here that there is an entire grouping there's this one right here, but then to the right of it and to the left of it, there are two blank ones and same for here. It's just empty and then there's another one. I'm hoping this will allow it to look um, like it is pretty. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to pull it out and see what happens, but for now, that's what I've done and I'm going to lay it down and see what it looks like with the hoop. Now we are ready to move ahead to the hula hoop part. This is the very first hula hoop that we're going to use. I still haven't picked up the second one yet. Don't tell nobody. And um, so we've already done this hoop, this hoop, and now we're working on this one. And you can see how um, this kind of like panned out. All right, we are going to start how I did earlier. Um, the hoop was actually underneath the thing. I just had to move it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this rope, fold it over, under just like that So essentially, just like that, and we're gonna do that around the entire thing. Uh, what I had to do instead of making them come down to a point, it just it just couldn't happen because um, I had to separate these things. So you have to like pull them apart like so, and once you do that, you're able to go in and wrap each rope about honestly about four more times is what I had to do. Um, and some of them you could only wrap you know three times, some of them you had to wrap six. So you just have to like kind of figure it out. Um, how it's going to work best for you. So for this one right here, I'm going to pull it all the way to the edge where you can see I've already wrapped, gone around the entire hoop like this. So I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to go underneath, pull it, pull it. Just keep doing that same knot over and over again on it. Just like that. And then this one we're going to pull out right here. And do it until we reach the next one. So once you've wrapped it all the way around, it's time to move on to this pattern over here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, what you're gonna do is you are gonna take um, four ropes each. So every four ropes you are gonna get separated out and you are gonna do a square knot and then a square knot on the same one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Another square knot. Mm -hmm. 
just like that. And so you're going to do that on this one, on this one, all the, every single four ropes, you're going to do two square knots. Once you have separated all four strands here, there, 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 all the way around the hoop and made the two square knots, what you're going to do is you're going to do those alternating knots one more time. So you can see here, I'm going to split. This one has already been done over here and I'm just splitting it. So this rope or this knot right here, we're going to split in two and connect these two and we're going to do three square knots right here and just going to kind of pull it up to where um, you can't pull it anymore without these two kind of really turning in. So right about here is good enough and um, that's where it's going to start and I'm just going to do three right here. just like that and same thing all the way oops, sorry same thing all the way around you're gonna take this knot that you just split take those two take the next one split it and you're gonna connect to these two same way doing three square knots just like that and so on and so forth the entire project okay so now that we've made it this far um, you've done that in around the entire piece <sighs> Guess what time it is. We've got to attach it to the blue hula hoop now. So get ready for some more work. <laughs> and we're just gonna go ahead and start tying those um, double half hitches around the entire hoop. And yeah, just get prepared to tie a whole lot more of them. <laughs> All right, last little thing what we're gonna do, um, you can see I've already like the little pom poms on each side and everything. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but what we're gonna do, you can see how I kind of attached them, and I made the pom poms kind of as close to um, this as I could get them. And to do that, um, I had to wrap each one. So each one that we individually did, I took the one on the very far right, and I just wrapped it until I ran out of rope. So keep doing that same thing until you run out of rope on the one on the far right side. And then we're gonna come back and kind of fill in the gap. That way we kind of keep it right here instead of using all of these multiple times, we keep it kind of centered. Does that make sense? I hope so. Then once we make it there, you're gonna have to take the one on the left side of the nearest one and you're gonna fold this one over just like that. And you're gonna take this one. Oh my God. Sorry if you hear that outside. Um, and wrap it underneath like that and just on top of this one and do it until you make it all the way back to where it originally started from. I know this is intense, probably not the best way to do this, but it's the only way I've found to do it to make it look decent. <laughs> all right, so once you're left with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim them, and I'd say about to right about here. Um, and after you trim all the way around is when you can make the little puff balls and you you kind of do have to be using the same kind of rope as me, otherwise it's not going to unravel. Um, but to show you how to do that, I'm just going to show you real quick. This one's kind of short already. Let me zoom you in. I know the lighting is not the most ideal situation. Uh, and then you're just going to kind of like tug on it like that right there. And get it just nice and fluffed out. And once you've tugged on it, make it look like that right there, you do it on the rest of them. Um, of course, you got to cut them first and then tug them up. And then after that, you're going to cut off the little inside of the piece right here. About like that, and then you'll be completely finished. Just like that right there. this video I really hope that you enjoyed it I'm very very happy with this piece so if you could just give me a like and subscribe and I hope you all have a great day and God bless